Today I'll tell you how to remove otter.ai from Zoom. If you want otter.ai to record your Zoom meetings, you need to click on apps here. Here you'll see the Zoom window, and you need to click add. Here you can review what permissions you are granting to Zoom Workplace and click the allow button. Once you've connected the bot, on the main page under the meetings tab, you'll also be able to see all the meetings the bot will join. If you don't want the bot to join a particular meeting, you can toggle this switch and the bot won't join your meeting. You also need to make sure that your bot can join your Zoom meetings. To do this, you need to click here on my account then settings. Next, you need to go to the recording tab and here you need to make sure that the checkboxes for internal meeting participants and external meeting participants are selected. And also check that you have auto-approved their permission requests enabled. If you have set all this up, the bot will be able to automatically join your meeting. If you don't want the bot to join your meeting, you can uncheck these boxes and click the Save button. Also, if the bot still joins your meeting and appears as a separate participant, you can remove it manually. To do this during a Zoom meeting, you can hover here, click on the three dots, and then click the Remove button. You can choose whether to report to Zoom or not and then you need to click the remove button. After that, the bot will be removed from your meeting. You can also remove the bot on the otter.ai page. Here, in the window where the meeting is being recorded, you need to click the stop no taker button. Yes, turn it off. And after that, the bot will leave your meeting. And if you want to record Zoom meetings without using third-party bots, I suggest you try Blue Dot. Blue Dot is a free extension that records, transcribes, and analyzes your meetings without using a third-party bot. To use it, you need to install the free extension. And to record your Zoom meeting, you need to click on the extension icon. Here, you can pre-configure your microphone and camera. You can also choose the language in which the recording will be made. Then, you need to click the Start Recording button. And to record everything happening on your screen, you can select your screen. I'll choose Screen 2. And also, don't forget to check the box Also Share System Audio and then click the Share button. After 3 seconds, Blue Dot will start recording and analyzing everything happening on your screen. And you can return to your Zoom meeting, confident that Blue Dot won't miss a single important detail from your meeting. And to get the recording result, you need to go back to your browser and click the Finish Recording button. Blue Dot will then open a link to your Zoom recording in a new tab where you can watch it right away. And this is what your Zoom meeting looks like after using Blue Dot. You can rewatch the full video of your meeting. On the right side, Blue Dot generates a complete transcript of the recording for you. Blue Dot also identifies speakers, and if needed, you can assign them names. You can also search through the transcript and change the language in which the transcript is displayed. And on the left side, Blue Dot generates an AI summary of your meeting, where you can find an overview, action items, topics, and if necessary, change the notes template and for example, select key takeaways. And Blue Dot will generate a new AI summary for you that fits this template. This way, you no longer have to use a bot to record your Zoom meeting. Try it yourself. It's free.